What's up, YouTube? I'm Callie, and thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a good one. On my Instagram, I said, what are some assumptions that you have about me? So today I'll be reading through those. I haven't read through them yet. Um, and I'll be, you know, proving if that assumption is correct or if it is wrong. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, um, and I'll be sure to answer you there. So, you miss dance classes. <laughs> That's pretty nice of you to say. I do, I do. I miss taking dance classes, but like now my schedule is just like too insane. I also feel like I'd be very hard on myself because I'd be like, ooh, I'm not as good as I used to be at this. But I do, I do miss taking dance classes for sure. Okay, here's one. You were raised super religious. Many of us were, but aren't religious anymore. I was, definitely. I went to a Catholic high school, went to church. I, I made all my sacraments, all of that. I got married in a church. And I think definitely as you get older, you start to slowly find your way back to religion and your belief. So I'm still trying to, you know, finagle that and find my way back. But I definitely still like believe in God and grew up Catholic. And I'm sure once I have a family too, I'll want to go back to that to like, you know, find that security and then let my kids figure it out from there. You look very tall. I am, I'm 5'11", thank you very much. That's correct. You hate New York, but love your job. Um, wow, that's smack dab on the center. No, I don't hate New York. I mean, I've been here for 10 years. I moved here when I was 18, I'm now 29. Oh, so I've been here for 11 years. And I'm just like, you know, I'm ready to go back to a less stressful lifestyle, more time, open air, blue skies, sun, water, greenery. You know, I miss it. But I do love my job, so I'll be here for a while. It's worth it. You bought a $450 fake plant. <laughs> I aspire to get, but this left me breathless. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay, that was like a splurge. It's weird what I splurge on, and I don't, honestly, I don't splurge on anything, and that's hilarious that, yeah, you're right, I did buy a fake $450 plant. But like, it's a fake plant, you're gonna have it for the rest of your life, so I saw it as like, you know, okay, I'm gonna have it, great, I'll pay, I'll pay the money for it if I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm moving with it, for sure. Gosh, you really got me on that one, didn't you? You would turn your shop shopping cart where it belongs after shopping at TJ's? I do, obviously, yeah. You eat whatever you want and don't have to worry about your weight. I don't eat whatever I want because to be honest, imagine if you were to teach fitness classes every single day on camera and you couldn't leave the room if you needed to use the restroom. So I honestly have to eat knowing that my stomach is gonna cooperate in all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I have to feel good in order to show up my best at work. So I don't eat whatever I want. Um, I try to, and I, I you know, give into that, but I'm also like, my pro priority is to feel good. But you know, if I'm craving pizza, my favorite penne alla vodka, I'm gonna eat it, okay? And you don't have to worry about your weight. I never honestly worry about my weight. I think that's definitely something to, I used to, I used to worry about my weight. And that was a point when I like really didn't need to. Now as I'm getting older, my metabolism is changing and all of that. So that's that. You're very much an extrovert. Okay, this is something that people, I am a, I am a extroverted introvert. Like I can talk up a storm, talk to anyone, blah, 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 but I can't keep that going all day. I also like, need my social battery is very short. <laughs> so like me teaching a Peloton class is like, I love it, having a blast, so much fun. I'm very extroverted, talking to everyone. But then like after a little bit, like I'm literally, I'm like, Chris, don't talk to me. I just need to go upstairs. I just need to like get my social bat battery back. Um, so that's how I am. <laughs> and you can definitely tell I'm extroverted if I can talk to the camera like this, you know what I'm saying? You dye your hair blonde. I do, I get, I get highlights. Um, my norm, if you see like this like lighter brown color, that's my natural color. You don't read DMs. I do here and there, but if I read too many, I'm stuck in my phone and that's not good for my mental health, not good for my life, you know? I shouldn't be living in here, I should be living out here, you know what I'm saying? You're in love with your dog. I sure am, I sure am, got me there. You don't want kids! I can't believe you think this about me. I am one of six kids, I have like 13 or 14 nieces and nephews, I I want kids. I I need kids, I want kids. Don't show Chris this, because he's gonna be like, we need to wait, please stop. 
that you do not deal with anxiety. Sometimes I think anxiety and nervousness intertwine. I think that I get nervous a lot, but I don't want to call it anxiety, but I get nervous a lot because I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect. And I think that's because, and to be everyone's cup of tea. And I think that's because I grew up being a ballerina and ballet, you have to be, you know, you have to be perfect, I feel like. So I always put that pressure on myself. So now even when, as I like do something and I start to get a little obsessive over it and I start to like really perfect it and like think, I, I really have to step back away from it and like not care as much. That's why I always like to say, we take the work seriously, but not ourselves because it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? I assume that you're a Capricorn. I am, I'm a Capricorn. January 6th is my birthday. You rarely cook dinner, but you love eating. Okay, that's rude. That's rude because I literally cook dinner five out of the seven days of the week. And when I say cook dinner, I like take Trader Joe's stuff and I just put it all together. Like I don't use any spices or anything. Let's be honest here. Yeah, that hurts my feelings because I do a lot of dishes and that's, I hate doing the dishes and putting the dishwasher, loading it, unloading it. It's a lot of work, but I do it because I eat dinner at home a lot. Mm -hmm. okay that you count calories. I don't, I honestly don't even know how to do that. A lot of people like do macros and stuff, have no idea where to start at that. If you ever catch me like looking at the back of a, um, a food, which you probably won't, but if you do, I have no clue what I'm looking at. Like I have no idea. Like I hear random stuff on TikTok and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't be eating that. And I look and I'm like, do I see that somewhere? What's this? How do you even pronounce this? I, yeah, I don't do any of that. I don't think it's worth it. And again, I think I would become too obsessed with like counting calories and counting macros. And I think a lot of people do. So I, I definitely recommend don't not doing that, right? You are never sad or angry. Um, that is false. However, I when I get sad or when I get angry, there's like no like mad Callie. Like Chris always is like trying to like make me angry and like try to like bring out that side of me. Um, just cause he would think he's like never seen it. He's never seen me like get angry, but my angry, if I get angry, I start to like tear up and I, I start crying. So I just go straight to crying. But yeah, of course I get angry and sad. I'm a human. Um, but I don't want to like, you know, put that all over my social media because that's personal, you know what I'm saying? And I want my social media to be an outlet for you all, to help you all so that if you are feeling angry or sad, you can look at my social media and be like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better. You never use curse words. I sometimes like randomly here and there, like to be like funny and stuff, but I do like, especially in my classes, I'm like, Ugh! I feel like awkward saying them because I'm like, oh my gosh, my mom may be taking this, my dad may be taking this. Someone older than me may be taking this, it's disrespectful. You got a scholarship to go to college? I think I got like a little mini one, um, but I didn't get a full scholarship, no. But my school really didn't give um, dance scholarships, I don't think. I could be totally lying and like they could have just told me that because they didn't want to give me one. <laughs> yeah. You spend a lot of money on clothes, makeup things in general, and makeup things. I honestly don't. Um, if you look in my closet, like I have the same pair. I actually have a lot of pairs of pants. I'm now investing because recently, this past year, I cleaned out my closet and I still had stuff from college, everyone, just to let you know. Still had stuff from college. College was eight years ago for me, so seven years ago for me. So it's time, I need to get rid of those clothes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says you're 36 on Google. True, question mark? Okay, there's nothing wrong with being uh, 36 whatsoever, but I'm not in my 30s yet. I'm actually 29. I turn 30 next year in 2024. So that's hilarious that this is on Google. I wonder where someone got that from. Um, yeah, I was born January 6, 1994. I'm 29 years old. You're bougie. <laughs> Whoa, <coughs> I almost choked. Um, that's really funny. I'm, that's hysterical that you think that. It's okay if I were to be bougie, it's fine being bougie, but I'm actually like not at all. Um, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce a lot of designers and I get embarrassed even saying them because I don't know. Um, I would never know, like I shop, I get a lot of my purses and stuff off Amazon, everyone. I, I order from Amazon, I order from, Aber I think Abercrombie is my most expensive thing. A place I order from. My most expensive like purse that I own is a little YSL crossbody, and I got that for my birthday two years ago, and I've worn it every single day since. I don't, 
I would rather spend my money on travel than on materialistic things just because it's like, for what, for what? Why am I, why am I spending money on this, you know? So that's about it. There's a lot in here, but my thumb is really tired from the scrolling. But I love these assumptions. I just wanna make this video just so that you all can get to know me a little bit more and be like, oh, that's true about her, that's not true. I was right, yeah. But anyways, if you like this video, um, leave a question, comment, um, and follow me on my other social media platforms. If you like me, that's okay, if you don't. We all each have our own cup of tea, you know? Um, and I'll catch you back here next time.